Could you show me what it looks like to do something as a mum? <laughs> this is going to be a hard one. <laughs> um, like, this is me feeding a baby. You let me play Fortnite right this instant. <laughs> it's the mouse for there. Go to you. Yeah. Come on, kids. Breakfast time. Nah, nah, nah. Come on. Okay, it's still sleeping. Crap. When was the last time you told your mum you love her? We do it every night before bed, so. Probably last night. Lots of times in the morning. <laughs> Early in the morning. Yesterday. <laughs> um, like 10 minutes ago. Lots of times when I was five years old, four years old, three years old. Actually, no. This morning, we were doing it in sign language. I love you. How do you spend most of your time with your mum? going to the shops with her. Well, I spend time with my mum, often on my trampoline, playing throw and catch with her. Play with her and colouring in with her. She mostly drives me to places and we normally just stay home and chill out. I like playing genius style with her as well. And going to the playground. I sometimes play on the street and play like soccer. Building Lego. Playing games, going to theme parks, going to movies, travelling, practically everything. What makes you feel really loved? Um, when my mum gives me hugs and kisses. Because she takes care of me the most. Because my mum hugs and kisses me. She's a warm and it's just nice. My mum. She tickles me a lot, that makes me feel loved. How do you think you and your mum are similar? We're both very funny. It's nice and chubby and fat, and I'm nice and skinny. We have a strong relationship. We're very competitive. I don't think I'm similar to her. What is something that your mum always says? There's something that she's been saying ever since I was old enough to understand the words and it's you don't have to be friends with everyone but you have to be friendly with everyone. I love you. Yeah. Most of the time. The naughty kid. Clean up your room. You're the best child I've ever had. Always be kind. Do you want to become a mum when you grow up? No. Well, I do, but I don't. Definitely. But I don't want to have too many kids, not like seven or anything. Well, it's not too much pressure. It's like... Two would be fine. Or well, three. I know I don't really have much control over that though, but... It, it would be too much of a responsibility. It would just be cool having kids, I guess. Because I can have eyes all over my face and I can see my kids whenever they be cheeky. Or just be too free, because, yeah, they need to learn how to do stuff. If you could give one, a message to mum right now, mm -hmm. what would it be? Can you say it to this camera? Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. I love her more than the whole entire world. That you make the best lamb rice, or that you do the best barbecue that you're the prettiest mum in the world and I love you. And thank you for everything you do for me. <laughs> do you have advice for moms for whom this is their first Mother's Day? Ooh. Ah, it's very hard when it's your first Mother's Day. Expect the unexpected. You have no idea what's gonna happen next, but just go with the flow. Just be yourself. Um, everyone's gonna try and give advice, but at the end of the day, your mum, you know best. It is a day where you celebrate you and your accomplishments and what you've achieved and the fact that you've given birth to a child. Pat yourself on the back. Put your feet up for the day. 
grab the glass of wine, the bottle, whatever you need to make yourself feel good. Look outside or sit on the beach and hear the waves go. Take that time to appreciate all the good that you've done as a mum because the job is not an easy one.